Yeah, so not a lot of people have like questions about the whole bang situation. I think that's reasonable. But I'm not gonna tell people like everything, right? That's stupid. There's a lot that goes into you know, a roster. And like kinda as my title of the stream says, it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. No matter what you do, no matter what decision you make, you're going to get flack for it. Like, there's going to be people out there who want us to make changes. There's going to be people who want us not to make changes. So, with that in mind, like, I'm not out here trying to make everyone happy. Or, even, even in saying that, that makes it sound like it was my decision alone, right? But it wasn't. It's a very complicated thing. Rosters are very complicated. And so there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that you guys will never know about, that people are never going to know about. And um, it it's not so cut and dry as just one day we woke up and we said, you know, fuck this guy, he's gone. <laughs> not like that, so... What I will say is it's a, it was a very hard decision for us to make as a team, and I, ultimately I'm not, I'm not even sure if it's the right one, but it's the one we're going with, so hopefully it works. And I will say, you know, I think Sean Bang has a future in competitive FPS, there's no question. Um, he's a fucking amazing teammate and mechanically he's incredible so I, I don't see him Lord have mercy. you know what I mean being gone from the scene or I saw someone who's like pretty well known in the Valorant scene say like we ruined his or not in the Valorant scene in the FPS scene that we like ruined his career I think that's like the dumbest take I've ever seen in my life because if you're a good player and you have potential your career's not over because you left the team it's super or you get cut from a team it's so natural to go through you know a dozen teams in your career so I, I think that's like the most one head take I've ever seen in my life So it's all stepping stones. Like, you're going to get there. He's super young. You know what I mean? Like, well, dude, when I was 16, or 17, actually, I'm not even sure he's 16 or 17, but when I was his age around that, are you fucking kidding me? I, man, I was semi pro in Counter Strike 1.6. This is, CSGO wasn't out. I, ha I made no money. This dude was getting paid like a damn good amount of money. You know what I mean? It's just like I, I, I was where he was. It's not the end of the world. Like you're, he's going to make it. And people just need to stop being so fucking zero to a hundred about everything. And I, I, I talked to him privately, so we're all on good terms. It's not a big deal. I will say he, you know, his words were, I've never been more motivated. And that's, that's what you love to hear. Because I really do hope, you know, for the best. Isn't it bad for the team to keep making roster changes? Honest question. Like I, like I said, it's it's complicated. Very complicated. If there was a time to make a change, it's now. Right? We're we're in a break. We have time to evaluate what's best for the team during the break. 
right? So if there was ever a time to do it, it would be now. That's all I have to say on the subject. Like, obviously, people are probably going to have a bunch of questions still, but generally speaking, that's kind of like, that's where I'm going to leave it.